Hello, it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone 8B. Today I'm going to be taking a slight detour from my normal in the garden uh, gardening stuff. Um, still kind of working with flowers in a weird way, um, but uh, I love to do little arts and crafts things and um, I'm also really big into sun protection, which involves a lot of sunscreen and hats. Um, and when I was on that family trip uh, just a few weeks ago, um, we were we went on a cruise and we were one of the stops was in Cozumel, and I saw these really cool painted hats that uh, they would do. Um, and I was like, oh, that'd be really fun to have one that is kind of Texas themed or has Texas flowers on it and stuff. Um, I was like I think I can kind of make something like that. Uh, so I went home and I got these two hats here. Um, they, I got them off Amazon and they tighten or, you know, are, you know, can be looser. They're a little more uh, difficult to paint on than the ones that I saw uh, in Cozumel. They have, um, they're more woven kind of I don't know, the weave is different, so it's not quite, it doesn't seem quite as easy to paint on. Um, anyhow, and I bought some paint um, pens. I love, I love paint pens. Um, I got a big, uh, a big bunch. Some would have fine tip and some have um, kind of a, the bigger tip for, for different, um, different uh, shadings and stuff like that. Um, or marks and stuff. Um, so this one I think I'm going to paint with um, prickly pear cactus um, and then this other one I'm giving to a, uh, a, a friend, someone I know, who lives in uh, zone 9A, uh, kind of around the Houston area and they have a lot of um, oleander over there. It's not native but they planted it all along the Texas, or um, uh, Houston highways so I thought that would be a cool thing to put on the hats because it's if you drive in the Houston's like one of the three biggest cities in America I believe um, it's huge regardless of uh, but it's so it's a huge city and there's just oleander all planted all along the highways um, so I think I'm gonna paint some oleander and um, she likes blue so I'm going to paint some blue plumbago on here which is a native and then this one I was going to do the uh, prickly pear cactus, the purple, I think, the purple prickly pear because I like purple. Um, and this hat I think is going to be for me. But I, lo I love, I mean, obviously I wear a lot of hats in, in my videos and stuff just because <clears throat> I burn easily. Um, but I, I just wanted to add, make the hats a little more fun and less boring. And, um, you know, I probably won't wear it all the time, but it, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. So... Take take your boring um, your boring uh, you know regular hats and kind of jazz them up and personalize them. I think is a really fun idea um, and protect yourself from the sun while you do it. So anyhow, I'm gonna get started. Um, I think it's I, I already kind of drew out a little. You probably can't even really see this. I don't even know if it's. I drew out some little designs and stuff. I don't know if this is just to kind of help me. I you know. It's good to look up um, pictures on the internet of the flowers you're wanting to paint or whatever, you can paint whatever. Um, anyhow, I think it's just a fun little project and I thought I'd share it. So I'm going to get started, which I think I probably already said, but I'm going to get started. <laughs> okay, so I think since this hat is uh, off-white, I can use a pencil on it. Um, the blue one is a little too dark for me to do that. You could use, there is fabric pencils you could use to kind of trace out what you want to do first before you start painting. I'm generally a little too lazy to do that kind of stuff. So let's see here. Let me pull up my picture to my phone. What I'm doing. So I just Googled some images and found kind of a general shape of whichever one I want to do on here. Um, and then I'm just kind of going to start 
working it in. It's going to be very light on here. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up. Um, I can just barely make it out. I don't even know if this is necessary, honestly. It might be better just to go in with paint. Um, and like I said, you could use like a, you know, fabric um, marker or pencil that they use for sewing and stuff to kind of mark out your design of what you want. Um, I'll probably do one here on the brim of the hat. Here, let's see. One here on the brim of the hat. Or sorry, this is in the brim. I don't know what this part is called, but the part that sits on your head right here. And then I'll do one, I think, kind of coming out this way on the brim here. So it'll kind of be up here and down here. Let me uh, reposition the camera and pick out my colors that I'm going to be using <clears throat> and I'm going to get started. Okay, here are going to be the colors that I'm going to be attempting to do this in. Um, I love green and purple, so these are going to be kind of my main colors right here, I think. Um, and the pictures, there is um, a little bit tinge of pink and purple on the edges, and then the centers are generally kind of like a green color, kind of along this line. Um, and then towards the base, there's some browns and yellows. So, I don't know if these this will be used at all, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. Wish me luck. Um, I think this is kind of one of those things that the more paint you layer on, kind of the better and more saturated the colors look. Um, so yeah, okay, let's see. I'm going to start tracing stuff out. Could be ruining this, we shall find out. <laughs> So I'm going to fill these in with this green color. Unfortunately, I don't have one of the larger tips in this color. It only comes in a smaller tip, so we'll just have to tediously fill this in. Um, and then I will go over with the other colors that I want to add.
may come back and add more as I go along, but for now, I am too lazy to do more. Um, I think it'd be cool to come back in and maybe do like a sunset over here and then again add the other prickly pear over here um, and just kind of add to it every time I feel like I'm getting a little artsy. Here's the other one. Uh, I think this one turned out a little bit better than the prickly pear one, although I do like the prickly pear one a lot um, in person. I feel like the camera doesn't quite pick up the colors. I just don't know if when people look at that one, they'll be able to tell that's prickly pear cactus. <laughs> um, so I think this one could also use a little more plumbago around the brim here and here, but again, I'm a little lazy. <laughs> and if I don't, um, uh, I don't like to expend too much energy on one project, <laughs> which isn't the greatest quality, but oh well. Uh, anyhow, uh, that was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope y'all got some inspiration too on how to jazz up some sun protection and make sun protection fun and, you know, more individualized and just kind of make it unique in you. Um, it, it, it was fun, it was quick, and yeah, I recommend. I, I do recommend getting a different weave, like maybe more of a straw weave, and this is like a plastic fabric kind of weave or something, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so it's a little harder to paint on and it's harder to get crisper lines like they did in, in the hats that I saw which were kind of more of that like plastic straw kind of weave and um, kind of like a basket weave type thing. Um, yeah, uh, but it's really fun uh, and quite cute and I think you can do some really fun designs. So anyhow, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!